Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Forward is playing in the wrong league if he thought he was fouled in the build-up to Bobby D. Cordova, reads goal at Craven Cottage on Sunday. That is the opinion of Manchester United legend Patrice Evra, who has hit out at the Egypt forward. Salah thought he was pushed by a player just before D. Cordova, Reed opened the scoring with a stunning finish. VAR checked the incident but decided there was no case for the Liverpool player. Evra was full of praise for D. Cordova, Reed's finish, but says Salah was wrong to expect to receive a free kick. To be honest, if Salah complains for that push, I think he's playing in the wrong league because it's a soft, soft push, Evra said on Sky Sports. And what a great finish, what a great finish. The quality of the strike and it's a perfect strike. The goalkeeper Alisson, even a great goalkeeper, can do nothing about it. Fulham were dominant in the first half and forced Liverpool goalkeeper Alisson into a number of important saves. And Ever said the Cottagers fully deserved their half-time lead. Quotes, interview, reaction, no one will be surprised Fulham are in front, Ever added. They've been fighting for every ball and it's well deserved. I'm surprised about Liverpool's start and if they want to win the game, they have to match the work rate of Fulham. If Fulham are going to keep pressing and playing like this in the second half, they've got a great chance to win this game. Liverpool were dealt a huge injury blow before the match when Jurgen Klopp confirmed Diogo Jota is set to miss up to two months of action. Jota won't require surgery on the knee injury he suffered in the 1,1 Champions League draw at FC Midtjylland. Yeah, it's worse than we first thought and better than we then thought, Klopp told Sky Sports. All the potential surgeons had a look at it, no surgery needed. But he will be out for a while. We don't know exactly but one, and, a, half, two months. We don't know exactly. It's pretty similar with Costas Tsimikas, by the way. Unbelievable.